Joan says that since the age of 13, she has been having visions and hearing voices. She believes the voices are angels and saints who bring her God's message. Some modern experts argue it shows Joan was a schizophrenic and insane. Psychologist Dr. Miguel Farias thinks otherwise. The major distinction to be made is between people who hear voices and have a serious psychological condition and people who hear voices but have normal lives. <laughs> there is no historical record to suggest that Joan was ever considered mad. As a child, she was apparently able to function normally within society. Dr. Farias believes the voices could be thoughts buried deep in her unconscious mind. From a purely psychological point of view, we can think that she had a kind of personality disposition which allowed her to perceive things from her unconscious, which she interpreted as, as voices. Because of the Christian beliefs of her time, she reasons that these voices are messages from God. This kind of perception isn't unusual in the 15th century. During Joan of Arc's lifetime, there are possibly dozens of visionaries or prophets at large in France, not two or three, not hundreds. It's something that's very unusual, but definitely not unique either. And many of these visionaries are female. One of the few ways that a woman in medieval Europe could gain a level of public status and certainly a level of public notice is through religious means. Seeking counsel from these holy women is common practice. Seen as a divine messenger, Joan could have been easily accepted. 